Hello and welcome to Park Essen. My name's Jake and today we're back for another Lost River Ride construction update. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say that we've been uploading a video every single day throughout 2024 and today actually marks the 100th upload. So I just want to say a quick thank you for all the support, everyone who's been following along, uh, even not just with the Lost River Ride construction updates, but with all the videos in general. Thank you to everyone who's left a comment and that will continue to do so. And with that out of the way, we're going to get into the video. Now, the most obvious thing and the thing I'm going to start with, as you can probably see, is that the top of the lift hill has now been put in place. This confirms the the height of the lift hill. And as I said in the last update, uh, it is approximately half as tall as it used to be. Now, this now stands at roughly 30, 30 to 40 foot, I would say. So it's, it's a lot smaller than it was before. However, it's still got a decent enough height. The second thing I'd like to say is that some new footers have appeared uh, sort of behind where the old lion enclosure used to be, you know, just around the corner, sort of to the back end of the park. Um, those have now been put in place. As well as that, there is some, there's been some, like, some holes dug out in the floor, which have indicated where the drop's going to be. Um, so whereas before we thought it would be sort of towards towards where the lake is or almost in the lake which we thought at one point no it has now become clear that the drop will be just just behind the lion enclosure it hasn't moved as much as we all thought it was going to this is also suggesting that the train uh, so where the train track is the train track will most likely be pushed back further to the lake but we'll discuss that shortly the, first, the second thing I'd like to talk about, sorry, is the, uh, the installation of some new metal fencing in the queue line and around the station. Now, this is the same metal fencing that is now used on Kamali. Uh, I think this, is, um, this has been put into place all across the country. The sort of the days of using wood, like wood fencing and boardwalks and stuff are gone, unfortunately, due to the weather at the UK. Um, wood obviously deteriorates and rots much faster than metal so in terms of the longevity of the park and the overall upkeep it's a fantastic thing to see I know the uh, the fencing and that sort of boardwalk where you walked over the, the ride itself that was in a state of disrepair for a lot of years it was really untidy so to see them sort of refreshing it with new fencing is fantastic now the next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I brought up as a possibility in the last video uh, and it has happened. I was right about something, which is unusual, but hey, we'll take it. Um, there is a themed wall um, currently in construction, sort of adjacent to where the station used to be. Um, so if you're, I'll try and figure out how to describe this. If you're looking at the cheetah enclosure with the where the old kiosk used to be in front of that, the kiosk that sold ponchos and sweets and snacks and stuff like that, then to the right of that, there is now a huge themed wall, which looks fantastic. Um, around there as well, there is a fair bit of theming truss still on the, on the grass. You can just see it through the window there. That kind of indicates to me that there's still a lot of themed walls to go into place. Uh, themed walls, if you don't know, are just literally just a wall which has been themed, obviously. But it's quite important for the infrastructure of a new area which is the next thing we're going to talk about, the possibility of a new themed area. Now, I think with all this work going in, I, I, don't, I don't see it as unlikely that they're going to add a new themed area to the park. This will be the first new themed area since 2015 with the opening of Dino Stone Park. So there's been a, like a long time, basically, since the, the latest dedicated themed area opened. It'll be fantastic to see a new one. As for the space... Who knows what's going to happen to it? Um, at the moment, it's it's the construction is so prom like predominant. You can't really see anything other than the construction site uh, on the site itself behind the themed wall. But it, the, the options are always there. We'll have to see as it comes. Obviously, this is the point in the video where I say. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more of uploads. Plenty of theme park content on the channel. Loads of great videos and also these updates as well. You can check out the playlist if you want to see the past updates, but this is obviously the most up to date. Now, with that um, with that in mind, I apologise, I can't talk today either. Some of the old walls around the lion enclosure and around the ride have been repaved. You can see that one just on the drop there. 
um, it's been redone, it's been resurfaced, it's now flush and flat looking very colourful and I must say it looks great. So whereas before the walls were a little bit crumbly, there was a bit of paint, a bit of paint missing here and there, they now look fantastic, which is great to see and it's, it's also an indicator that they're working on the wider area as opposed to just on the ride itself, which is fantastic. Also, of course, the drop position, I talked about it a little bit earlier, um, sort of, we were speculating where the drop was going to be. Um, you know, we thought it was going to be in the lake, then we thought it was going to be next to the lake, but now it is completely obvious where the drop is going to be. It's going to be located maybe, I want to say five, between five and 10 meters, uh, to the, to the right of the old lion enclosure. I'm saying old lion enclosure. It will go back to being the lion enclosure, I'm sure. But for the time being, there's no lions in there. So it's. I'm going to refer to it as the old lion enclosure. So it's about it's between five and 10 meters, let's say. I'm waffling behind there. And then the drop trough will presumably be, it'll presumably go underneath. Now, the only, the only concern I've got at the moment is with the path current, in its current state, the footers are directly in the middle of the path, which is a little bit concerning for me because I would have liked to have seen the, the sort of redevelopment of the lake as well to have that sort of splashdown element, to, to be able to have a, a big splash like it had before, which was obviously the, the staple of the ride and the most important bit. You have to have a body of water surrounding it. And I just don't think there'll be space for that at the moment with the way that the path is. I don't think you'd be able to, to squeeze a path round unless they were going to add like a, 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 an undercover section somewhere. I, I, I mean, time will tell with that because it's, it's still, okay, you got to think, I minute. Have, haven't been told anything about when this is going to open. I have no idea when this is going to open. I would have said 2025 which would put us in the early stages of this product, the product of this project. So I don't know um, about the possibility of, uh, of like a re uh, like a rerouting of the path. I don't know whether they could build a path going out into the lake. There's so many options. There's so much, so many things up for speculation at the moment, and it'd be really exciting to see what they end up doing. That is pretty much all the updates I've got for you this week. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and I'm going to reiterate, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've had a hundred brilliant videos out this year so far, which means we've got 265 left uh, to ensure that we've uploaded a video every single day of 2024. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any thoughts on the Lost River Ride, please make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be interesting to see, like, to hear your opinions, uh, whether what, what what you what basically let me know what you think is going to happen. Thank you very much. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As I've said, I've said that four times now. I'll, I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.